Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the GoPro app for Android. So I've got a video up talking about it on the iPod or iPhone and on iPad, but I uh, GoPro just released it for uh, Android, and I thought I'd just have a quick look at it on here and see what's changed. Um, the important thing to note with this is it doesn't yet work for the Hero 3. We won't be getting the Hero 3 to work with the um, app until uh, December 14th is the date they're calling for. So on December 14th, we'll, we'll have a video talking about how to connect the Hero 3 to the phone app. But for now, we're back with the Hero 2 and the Wi-Fi backpack. So we've got a Wi-Fi backpack and a Hero 2. Connect the two together. Turn on the Wi-Fi backpack. Turn on the camera. We will then enter the Wi-Fi settings menu by pushing the Wi-Fi button. This is how to connect them, by the way. So we gotta push the Wi-Fi button on the side to enter the Wi-Fi setup menu. Scroll through until we get a phone and tablet. Shutter select button to enter. It's been enabled. Now on our phone, I'm on a Galaxy S3. Open settings. The Wi-Fi options, fun, scanning, GoPro, connect. The default password for the um, Wi-Fi backpack is Hero. It's all right. The default password is GoPro Hero. Yes, GoPro Hero, all one word. So yes, the password to connect for default is GoPro Hero. Once you have it, once you plug the Wi-Fi backpack into your computer, you're able to change that. Um, go back to the main page. Now we get to launch the GoPro app. It's available in the Google Play Store. We'll open this up. Connect and control we can see that we have almost all the same options we had when we had it on um, on the Hero or on the, sorry, on iPhone. We got the preview there. We can make it full screen just like that or unfull screen by tapping here. I have no card in the camera so it will not record. You can turn the preview on and off by tapping in the middle of the screen. Back is there, back button to go back. Um, in the settings menu, we have all of the settings we had before, so we can go and change all of the camera settings in here. Um, everything you want to do, time lapse, default power modes, everything that the GoPro's menu does, you can do from the app. Very cool. You can see battery level, Wi Fi remote commands. Um, I don't think you can change the name. You can't change the name of them from here, but once you get it into, once I say, like I say, when you plug this into your computer, you're able to change all of that. Uh, and what else is in here? Not too much. You can locate the camera, of course. You can preview on or off. You can change modes on here, and they will change on the camera. Uh, and that. I have no card in, like I said, so I'm not able to control the, um, to record, but if I did have a card in the camera, I would be able to do it like this to record. And that's about it. So that was a look at the GoPro app for Android. Came out yesterday, available in the Play Store, connects right now only to the Hero 2 with the Wi-Fi backpack. Not yet available for the Hero 3. And again, like we noticed with the, um, if I make this full screen, we'll be able to see. Like we noticed with the Hero, with the iPod app, or iPhone app, iOS app, it is a little slow to respond. It's a bit of a delay, so it's about a one or two second delay there between what the camera sees and what the preview sees. Great for setting up shots, but not so good for <coughs> uh, live view as we noted before. So guys, thanks for watching. That was another GoPro tips and tricks video talking about the new 
uh, GoPro app for Android. It is available, like I said, in the Google Play Store. Please make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos and subscribe. Thanks for watching.